Je souhaite bon après-midi. I wish everybody a good afternoon. And the people in the public gallery, I would like to ask the registrar now to call the case, please. Yes, good afternoon, Your Honor. This is num case number IT0372I, the prosecutor versus Milan Babic. Thank you, Madam. Uh, je demanderai au parti de bien vouloir se présenter pour le transcript, s'il vous plaît. I wish to ask the parties for the appearances. Madam. The prosecution are appearing Sabine Bauer and Alice Whiting, Ruth Kappa, the case manager, and my name is Hildegard Urzretzlaff. Merci beaucoup, Madam. Thank you very much, Madam. Et pour la défense. And the defense team. Appearances for the defense. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Good afternoon. <coughs> Thank you for welcoming us. Uh, the defense is represented by my co-counsel, Mr. Robert Fogelnest, and by myself, uh, Peter Michael Mueller. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Je uh, demanderai. I would like to ask Mr. Brabich if he can hear me in a language he understands. Yes, Your Honor. Merci, Monsieur. Thank you very much, sir. <coughs> Je suis Juge Amin. I am Judge Amin Al Mahdi, permanent judge at the International Criminal Tribunal. And this case has been assigned by an order of the President of the Tribunal to the First Chamber, a decision made by the President of the First Chamber, Chamber One. I have myself been assigned to this case and in order to be the judge for the initial appearance of the accused. I will briefly recall the procedure which has taken place up to now. First of all, the indictment was confirmed on the 17th of November, 2003. And as I have uh, mentioned uh, at the beginning, the order of the President assigning this case to Chamber Number 1 is dated 26 November. On the same day, the President of uh, the Presiding Judge of the First Chamber assigned me to sit for the initial appearance of the accused. I would like to briefly explain what the case is about. Uh, first of all, this initial appearance. Uh, initial appearance, as specified in uh, Rule 62 of the Rules of Procedure of this uh, tribunal, which says, uh, roughly, that uh, uh, the chamber, trial chamber, or a judge thereof must uh, satisfy himself during the initial appearance that uh, the 
right of the accused to have counsel has been respected, satisfy itself himself or herself that the right of the accused to counsel is respected. Now I see that counsel for the defense are present are here in the courtroom. So this condition has been fulfilled. The second uh, duty is to read or have the indictment read to the accused in a language the accused understands and satisfy itself, himself or herself that the accused understands the indictment. By the same token, I should also refer to the right of the accused And more specifically, the fact that the accused has to be informed that after the indictment has been uh, read to him with the charges uh, against him, he may enter immediately a plea, he or she may have uh, 30 days to enter a plea and say whether he pleads guilty or not guilty on one or more counts of the indictment. Therefore, I wanted all this to be quite clear from the beginning and that uh, the rights of the accused are well understood. I will therefore request before uh, the reading of uh, the indictment or of the counts of the indictment I would like to ask uh, Mr. Babich to, first of all, let us have his uh, uh, name, place of birth, year of birth, his uh, complete name, surname and name, and if necessary, the name of his father. I am Milan Babic, son of Boja, born on the 26th of February 1956 in Kukar. I am by training a doctor of dental medicine. Thank you very much. This is precisely what uh, we have here in the indictment. Je voudrais, avant donner lecture, before the indictment is read, or before rather the counts of the indictment are read out, I would like to put Mr. Babich on notice about what uh, these counts are about. The prosecutor of the tribunal. alleges Monsieur Milan Babic that Mr. Milan Babic is uh, responsible and uh, criminally responsible for those crimes which are uh, repressed by uh, Articles uh, 3 and 5 of the Statute of the Tribunal. Those are war crimes for Article 3 and crimes against humanity in Article 5. And 
in the facts or events uh, took place between the 1st of August 1991 until 15 February 1992. Broadly speaking, the indictment uh, mentions, and I quote, and uh, individual criminal responsibility. Statute of the Tribunal. Milan Babic is individually criminally responsible for the crimes referred to in Articles 3 and 5 of the Statute of the Tribunal and described in this indictment. The accused committed or otherwise aided and abetted in the planning, preparation, or execution of these crimes. By using the word committed in this indictment, the prosecutor does not intend to suggest that the accused physically committed any of the crimes charged personally. Committing in this indictment refers to participation in a joint criminal enterprise as a co-perpetrator or an aider and a better. Ensuite, the indictment also speaks briefly about the events and the allegations against Mr. Babich. Le confronter avec to confront him with uh, five counts. Mr. Babich, you retain the right to have uh, the whole indictment read out to you, or if you so prefer, and if you have had the opportunity, and I think you did have the opportunity, to see and peruse this indictment, maybe you will let the chamber know whether it is necessary or not to go in detail through the whole indictment, but only to let uh, it uh, be let, let us know. Uh, and uh, read out only the counts of the indictment for which uh, Mr. Bauchi is accused. Thank you. Your Honor, it is not necessary to have the entire indictment read out to me. Merci, Monsieur Babich. Thank you, Mr. Babich. I will therefore now ask uh, now. Nous lire les chefs d'accusation un par un for the counts to be read uh, one after the other by the registrar. Count one, <clears throat> prosecutions on political, racial, and religious grounds, a crime against humanity, punishable under articles 5H <coughs> and 7-1 of the statute of the tribunal. Alors, comment vous plaidez How do you plead, Mr. Babich? Yes, of course. Yes, you may. Please forgive me. This is my very first appearance in welcome. this room. Welcome. You're welcome. It's an honor to appear before your honor. Um, with respect to a plea, we would respectfully request that uh, no plea be entered at this time, that Mr. Uh, Babich would stand mute, plead neither guilty nor not guilty, and that the procedures with respect to response to that be followed. Okay, thank we you. anticipate that the court would enter a plea of not guilty on his behalf, but he does, uh, we have instructed him not to respond to that question at this time. Thank you. Uh, therefore, if I understand you rightly, Mr. Babich requests leave 
uh, to uh, have the uh, 30 days uh, uh, time span before he will enter a plea of guilty or not guilty. Thank you. Uh, this being said, uh, I will ask uh, the registrar to read uh, the indictment in order to satisfy myself that you have heard the charges uh, alleged against you. Yes. So, Madam Registrar, would you please be so kind as to read out the counts of the indictment? Thank you very much. Vous pouvez vous asseoir, Monsieur Babich. You can sit down, Mr. Babich. Yes. Count two, yes. Count two. In relation to the conduct described in paragraph 15a, murder, a violation of the laws or customs of war, as recognized by common article 31a of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under articles 3 and 71 of the Statute of the Tribunal. Count three, in relation to the conduct described in paragraph 15b, cruel treatment, a violation of the laws or customs of war as recognized by common article 31a of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under articles 3 and 71 of the Statute of the Tribunal. Count four. In relation to the conduct described in paragraph 15d, wanton destruction of villages or devastation not justified by military necessity, a violation of the laws or customs of war as recognized by common article 3.1b of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under articles 3 and 7.1 of the Statute of the Tribunal. Count five, in relation to the conduct described in paragraph 15d, destruction or willful damage done to institutions dedicated to education or religion, a violation of the laws or customs of war as recognized by common article 3.1d of the Geneva Conventions of 1949, punishable under articles 3 and 7.1 of the Statute of the Tribunal. Merci, madame. Thank you, Madam Registrar. J'aimerais rappeler. I would like to uh, remind Mr. Babich, as well as uh, Council, that Mr. Babich has uh, 30 days initial, following this initial appearance, that is us from today, to enter a plea one way or the other. Me. But um, since those 30 days will end during uh, the uh, end of your recess of the tribunal, and in order not to infringe uh, Mr. Publishers' rights, and the Chamber grants him until the 15th of January next year, 2004, to enter a plea and to let the Chamber know what is his position uh, respectively to the charges uh, which are approached to him. Reproached him. Correction of the interpreter. Des parties à des questions. If a party has uh, uh, any question uh, on uh, the prosecutor's side, madam, do you have anything to add? Your Honor, not to the uh, 
initial appearance uh, as such, not to the plea. Uh, but I have, uh, of course, uh, questions in relation to uh, subsequent decisions of the trial chamber. It relates to the motions that were filed today, both by the uh, prosecution and the defense. But these are, these are matters that uh, should be kept confidential and discussed in private session. Uh, donc, si vous voulez... Therefore, we may request the registrar to have a private session. Would that be enough, a uh, private session and not a closed session? Okay. Oui? Yes. Oui. Very well. Uh, Madam Registrar, please, uh, we go into private session. We are in open session, Your Honor. Merci, Madam. Donc, Thank you, Madam Registrar. This having been said, I will let you know what uh, my ruling is as soon as possible. And I believe uh, we have no other matter to discuss now. And uh, therefore, I close this uh, hearing. Meeting is adjourned. Interpreter requests uh, correction to so obliging and to so gallant.